Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Ewan the Twisted Echo and welcome back to my channel. Uh, and today we're going to be doing a very special video, a one-off. Um, we are going to be unboxing the Dragon Age Rook's Copper Collector's Edition for Dragon Age the Veil Guard. If you've been playing my stream you or been watching my streams, you'll know that I've been heavily hyped and enjoying this game. Um, so yeah, here is the box. You've got the companions on the front. Uh, we've got Nev, Davrin, Asan, um, Emric, and then Varric here. Uh, let's see if the camera will pick that up. Very cool. And then over this way, we have uh, Bellara, uh, Tash, Manfred, Lucanus, and Hardy. There you go. Um, and the box is really nice. I very much enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just be going into it and opening it for the first time and seeing my reactions. Okay, so opening it up, uh, we have a really cool, um, I don't know if you could, oh, if it will stay open, but you've got a quote on the top, very neatly done in gold, that says, things always seem impossible at the beginning, just fight one battle at a time, Barak Tethras. Very good quote. Uh, and you've got the Veilguard hero symbol on the top there, which is really cool. Then we have, a very cute letter here I shall read out what it says <clears throat> nine years ago we released the final chapter of Dragon Age Inquisition Trespasser at the time when we talked about what that final shot would be we thought it'd be cool to end with a dagger stab into the map where let's say Minrathus because we were pretty sure that's where we wanted to go there with the next game now here we are releasing the newest chapter in the world of Dragon Age has us finally making good on a promise we weren't even completely sure we were making but where else would we go besides the heart of Tevinter, the magical empire that has always lurked at the edges of the Dragon Age stories? And while the shape of the game and the story has shifted over time, we always knew that this game was the one that would resolve the story of Solus once and for all. From that, we've never shifted course. As fans of the franchise ourselves, we wanted to honour the rich legacy of the Dragon Age games that have come before, while making new players to join, while welcoming new players to join us in Thedas. To us, that meant returning to our core tenets of authentic and relatable characters, rich world building, and stories that are at times joyous, joyous and other times heartbreaking. Perhaps most importantly, we wanted to build a game which you could see yourself, whether through the companions you'll meet or the characters you create. It's taken the combined efforts of hundreds of people to craft this experience, and each has put themselves into it, put a part of themselves into it. We're beyond proud of every single member of this team, and we're incredibly grateful for the patience, the patience that you, our fans, have shown to us. To us, this Dragon Age game is a return to the kind of storytelling Bioware is known for. Characters you care about inside stories that matter. Welcome back to Thedas. Corinne Bush, game director. John Epler, creative director. Very cute. Love that. Um, and then we have some instructions. Um, I'm not going to show them. For the piece of resistance. This knife. Uh, let me get it in top. I mean, this is just really cool. I'm going to have this very much hanging up. And even better... It glows like that is so it's solace is knife it is plastic uh, which is a shame i was hoping for some metal um but it's very cool um the glow looks really nice really polished it's got really cool marbling like marble like inlays there gold handle uh, and then you've got the actual dagger bit here if you've played the game this is the dagger that solace uses to carve open the veil and then you carry throughout most of the game um so yeah really cool Feel like a actual superhero with this so very happy with that it's got a, a button that turns it on and off and that you can charge it uh, with a classic DC 5v um, cable which is great so loving that then we also we have a wrapped up poster I haven't seen this if I can open it there we go Classic Echo using a cheese knife to open his posters. So I'm curious to see what this is. I don't actually remember what this is. Um, so I'm excited to see this. Uh, if I can open it. Opening posters is always dangerous games. Alright. I'll face the camera this way so that we can see it. Alright, we're going. Oh, right, yes. Very cool. Unrolling 
questions is a, not a favourite pastime of mine. But you can see, <laughs> kind. <laughs> I mean, it stays rolled up. Let me, let me see if I can. I'm going to play a ball, um, but I will put a photo of it. Basically, it's all the companions posters eight in one, um, looking very cool, snazzy. Like it. It's now never going to go back in the box, so that is unfortunate. But we move on. All right. Next, very cool. We have another. We have a cloth mat uh, of Fadas, which is really well well drawn. Let me see which way up. It's this way. So here is the map. Uh, we have down the bottom, uh, we've got Ferelden and Orle with the lion and the dog, the Mabari. Uh, and then we have like the crows. Uh, we have the different uh, different parts of the game. That you're gonna see in the Acropolis, all those sorts of things. And so yeah, Bard Quiver, which is really nice. Very big fan. Um, can put things in here. Um, yeah, very nice. Can imagine that is great for some cosplayers or anything like that. And it's also just a really cool decorative piece. So happy with that. Um, then opening up this little bag here. Hmm. What is this? Oh, that's cool. So you've got. Uh, if you've ever played Dragon Age, you'll see that there's uh, usually like different emoticons: so romance, uh, emotional, uh, like angry. Uh, progressing down the next path. Yeah, I won't go through all of them, but in a dice form. So let's see. Aggressively. <laughs> it's the shield and the sword. But yeah, I love that nice little extra piece there. Um, cool. Alright. So, we are opening this with a bit of aggression to it. So where's my cheese knife, which I can use to open things. So it looks like we've got a card deck here. I don't know to what... Uh, what level, but <laughs> I don't know how to aggressively open cards without breaking them or get them out at all, actually. Yeah, like that. There we go. It'd be cool if this was like a codex written on it or something like that. Love that, but I don't think it is. <laughs> right, I'm not going to show you all of them. Oh, but it is cool though. It's like we've got um, we have the dread wolf here. Very nice. Um, oh, it's like. The cool, um, if you played the game, it's the cool art pieces um, that tell the stories. Um, oh, I love it. You've got like Harding, all the companions, photos again. I'm worried that I'm going to get spoilers here because I still haven't completed the game. This one's called Darkspawn. Just got some more. Yeah, so it basically takes you through the entire story effectively. And you see everything, which is cool. Um, very much enjoying that. Um, and I, and this is this is some they're some of my favourite parts of the game, you know. Um, so seeing these like kind of person and back to this one it's cool so happy with that, that that's that's really cool um, a nice deck of cards and I'm glad because I was nervous that it was just gonna be like weird but that's obviously something very related to the game just putting them back in their case to make sure that I look after them. Um, and then we have one more product to unveil which is Really cool. 
Damn, this may be my client favorite piece yet, you know. It's a glass flask. I'm not sure if you can open it. Oh, I think you can. Is it going to make a satisfying noise when, when we do it? It did, kind of. Let's see if I can do it again. Awesome, that is really nice. It's a proper metal like topper um, glass. I think this is definitely the highest craftsman piece of piece of kit that we've got. Love that. Okay, amazing. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, I know it's a bit delayed, um, but that is everything that is in the Rook's Copper. Uh, my overall thoughts on it, um, I think it's good. Um, I think as collector's edition goes, it's quite creative. Um, I really like the array of items. It's not just, you know, like the dagger, which would be usually be like a staple. It's, okay, you've got the dagger, but you've also got this really cool like flask and this card set uh, and the poster and the map. Again, usually it's usually one or the other. Um, so no, overall, I'm a happy boy. Um, there's some really cool things. Um, I'd say the dagger is probably a little bit more disappointing than I wanted it to be, only because I was expecting for the money you know a little bit of metal on the bottom or like a nice thing but it, you know it does the job it glows it's cool it'll definitely look cool on my shelves um so i am very happy with that um, but i would have just liked to see maybe a little bit of a metal of rib um but that's just nitpicky really um overall as i said i'm pretty happy with it um would i recommend it to you guys i think if you're a fan of Elgard, god what's not to lose you as i said you get an array of i'm just packing up everything back up but you get an array of treats and Dragon Age related things um, and I think you could, you will be happy with this shame about the poster, I am going to work this out <laughs> but um, but yeah, so yeah. Uh, overall, uh, I would, as collector's edition to go, I do think it's better than the Life is Strange one, but then you're paying significantly. So yeah, I'm overall very happy with this uh, with this collector's edition, thank you Bioware very much for producing it um, and if you did enjoy this video and you want to see me actually play Veilguard, please make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video. Like it as well so I know that you like these unboxing style videos. Um, I know the Life is Strange one, uh, people enjoyed that, so let me know if you enjoyed this one too. Uh, and if you did, then uh, yeah, as I said, like, subscribe, share, any engagement at all really does help a small channel like me. Um, but otherwise, I will see you all back in Fadus. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.